Well, let's take a check on the teams. Arsenal are pretty much at full strength, but with one notable absentee. Dennis Bergkamp misses out through injury, as he did in the Champions League win over Valencia in midweek. Gilles Grimondi, who probably wouldn't have started anyway, is also out. He's suspended. Well, not so clear-cut were Tottenham's plans. Several injury problems to concern Glenn Hoddle then throughout the week, with his biggest worry, that fitness concern over his defensive linchpin, Sol Campbell. He does play, his ankle injury has healed sufficiently. Sergei Rebrov, the team's joint leading scorer, is also fit to return. So are Stephen Carr, even though he's not kicked a ball in earnest for some weeks now. Tim Sherwood and Stephen Clements, they all play. Fantastic atmosphere here. 67,000 is the capacity. It can't be too far short of that. Even though there have been so many difficulties for fans making it all the way up to the north of England, they all seem to have got here OK. It's Tottenham then kicking off in their famous white strip, white and dark shorts, attacking the goal to our right. Everson down this right flank here. I'm sure for Tottenham it will be a question of containment, certainly in the early stages. Dixon for Arsenal. So much rivalry between the two clubs, and what a stage for them to perform on this afternoon. They met back in 91, they met in 93, Tottenham winning on the first occasion, Arsenal the second. One all. Everything to play for now. Wiltor, who has been such a leading light in this FA Cup run by Arsenal. Here's Silvino, in ahead of young Ashley Cole. Pires, on to Vieira. Wiltor with a sharp turn, good strike too! He really is in peak form at the moment, Wiltor. Such an exciting play. It took a while to settle, really, at Highbury. But now he's really come into his own. He's found his confidence. Even though he was wide of the mark there, he had that confidence to strike for goal. Doherty. Now Sherwood. Ribroff has come in midfield at the moment. It's Luke Young. Up and over though by Dixon. Then Vieira. Dixon again. Got sent off Dixon in the 93 semi final meeting between the two. Parla. Oh, I think he thought Perez was going to take that on then. A real misunderstanding between the two. Now can Tottenham cash in? Here's Ferdinand. On by Campbell to Young. Rip Roth ahead of him. Quick feet, Rebroff. Good turn, but he was caught. And it's a free kick to Spurs. Conceded by Laura, the Cameroon international. Sherwood is there, and Stephen Clements. He can't hit them with his left foot. Will there be a test here for David Seaman in that Arsenal goal? Veteran of nearly 500 games for Arsenal. No keeper has played more for the club. Interesting. Back to the drawing board with that one, Glenn. Nothing to do with me, he's probably saying. <laughs> Here's Young. Now Sherwood. Good ball in two for Doherty, and then let's put it in! Oh, Seaman's save. Terrific block. But it's in now from Doggerty. The only running from Arsenal, but the first goal from Tottenham. Gary Doggerty. They're never quite sure where to play him. To play him at the back or to play him up front. When he is up front, he's a real menace. Great save then by Seaman from Ferdinand. Everson's follow-up, and then so adroitly headed in by Gary Doherty. The young man who has made such strides with Tottenham over the past year or so since coming from Luton. And that's what it means to Glenn Hoddle and the Tottenham fans here in Manchester today. Tony Adams. 
for his central defensive partner Keown. No striking red boots. Ribroff to Sherwood. That was Pires. Oh, it could be in here. Robert Pires with a great chance. What a really tight finish. What an opportunity spur then. Clements, who gifted him a golden chance. They were far too sluggish here. In fairness, it wasn't the best of balls from Sherwood to Clements, but he was very ponderous and so nearly paid the price for it. Pires wasting the opportunity though. Now it's Everson for Spurs. Ferdinand setting off into the middle. And no room for error from Martin Keown. Still they haven't got it away. Eventually so from Keown. This is Sherwood. Everson climbing high. Remember his headed goal for Norway and they went over Spain back in Euro 2000. Pires up to Pala. Henri. There's that turn of pace from Henri. And a good block by Clements. Fierce tackling by Tottenham. Vieira. Henri. Now sure we're just calming it all down. For the team in white. Who have the early advantage. The goal from Gary Doherty. One of their central defenders. But a man with a real eye for goal, as he has re-emphasised yet again today. Here's Lara to Parler. Wiltord lurking in the middle, and Pires on the scene as well. Wiltord couldn't get a shot on goal. It's smuggled away by Doherty. Tottenham keeping it compact, keeping it tight at the back. And that is a trait they have developed under George Graham. Lauren. What are thinking today, George Graham, looking on here? So controversially sacked such a short time ago on the eve of a semi-final. And against the club, he led to so many successes, of course. But this is Wiltor now. And then Parler, and it's just beyond Henri. Tottenham were really stretched there. Here's Henri again, back into the danger zone. And it's away by Campbell. Everson. Well, that was late from Vieira. Very late. Well, surely that has to be a caution. Went in on Tim Sherwood, who can dish it out. Not no yellow card. You're seeing again here, that was Ray Parler. And then Henri, and no one really had attended to Henri. Wiltord started to the box, committing defenders. And one or two were pulled out of position then by the run of Wiltord. Leaving someone down that left, he's found Rebroff. Now Young is out there, Clements choosing an alternative route through Stefan Everson. Ferdinand in the middle. And Rebroff, look at the room he had here for a moment. Quickly shut down there by Adams, who sets the danger. And snuffed it out. Wiltor. Perez with Campbell. Arsenal at times so fluent in their approach play, but with nothing to show for it so far. Here's Adams. Silvino's run, and a good luck to Henri. Silvino, run across the face of goal, it's Dixon! Terrific save by Neil Sullivan to deny him. And that got behind. Well, that's not the first time in this game he's sneaked in far side, Lee Dixon. Again, they had covered the run, Tottenham. Look at the room he had there. What a moment for him to save her. It's one for the scrapbook. A goal against Arsenal in an FA Cup semi final. Dixon, he might easily have had one for Arsenal. Wiltor. 
Now Parler making himself available and taken out by Campbell. That's a worrying sight for Glenn Hoddle. Or maybe uh, Campbell is just <laughs> giving the referee the impression they need to take any further action because he's injured. I'm not sure which ankle it is he's struggling with. He was certainly struggling there to play the ball and has been shown the yellow card. Campbell, who for the moment is pushing his future to Tottenham, but I think the outcome of this FA Cup run might play a part in his final decision. So many clubs after his services, of course. He's been linked with just about everybody. He's needing attention now, and can they take advantage? They certainly can, it's Vieira. Campbell's presence was lacking in the middle, and Patrick Vieira has capitalised on it. the free kick they gave away with that reckless challenge by Campbell it's a goal and the equalizing goal from Vieira way above Chris Perry there and he really attacked it Vieira Tottenham won Arsenal won it's all square in the FA Cup semi-final Arsenal calling the tune at the moment they are on top and they are striving to push home their superiority. Tottenham, you feel, have a lot of defending to do with or without Campbell. And the signs, I would think, are that he won't carry on. Indeed, Lindley King now being led out. I gather King would have played from the start had Campbell not been included. And now the youngster has his opportunity. <laughs> Little pat on the back of consolation there from Hoddle as Campbell troops dejectedly away. King is on in the back three and straight into the fray. Silvino and a cross well dug in. I think that came off Doherty and Sullivan making. Fairly routine catch. Nothing routine though about this semi final. It swapped first Tottenham's way, now Arsenal's. Good interception by Tony Adams, who read the play so well. Here's Pirates. Rupana racing forward now. He's got Wilco up with him. Agonizingly close. He had two options there, one to go for goal as King and his defenders were fully stretched. The other alternative to service will talk. He went for glory. Maybe you can't blame him for that. The angle was inviting. Here's Lauren. Again, directing the traffic back towards that Tottenham goal. Silvino, Wiltor, and then Perez, Henri, offside, it would not have counted. It seems to me they are not picking up Wiltor when he just drops short. He's getting involved in the build-up play so well, and as that is played through, he might have been in line there, Henri. Ferdinand, who is certainly putting himself about up front, making a real nuisance of himself. But Keown and Adams have settled down now to control him. Rebroff, good turn. And that might have embarrassed David Seaman. He got a piece of it in the end, though. Got his body behind it, although it almost squirmed away from him. Rebroff, who is so sharp in front of goal. And that wonderful partnership with Shevchenko, of course. Back in the Ukraine, Shevchenko now with Milan. And there had been speculation that Rebroff might link up with him again. But he stayed on with Tottenham and has proved his value, certainly during this cup run. Dixon's ball in. Overcomes Chris Perry. But Arsenal straight on to the front foot. Dixon's throw to Wiltor. Who had a superb first half with his appetite and his movement. Silvino 
That would have been a spectacular goal. Real Brazilian flamboyance then from Silvino. Always dipping though over the bar. Silvino, cushion headed out for Pires. Now Adams. He's had his injury problems again this season, but he does seem to be so much fresher not being involved in the England team. Will Tor almost got Silvino in. Everson through the legs of Graham Pole. Now Will Tor, the game threatening goal for Arsenal. And what a timely intervention by Doherty. Back comes Carr. The pattern much the same as the first half, really, with Arsenal dominating. Silvino, then to Pires. Henri off through the middle, still Robert Pires. Here's Dixon. Lauren. And then Henri. And the saving tackle came in from Chris Perry. Such defiance by him. Arsenal really pushing hard now for a second goal. And well played, Chris Perry. Perez taking the corner then for Arsenal. Sullivan just got his hand to it. Well, Henri on the rebound there after Sullivan that came herring out of goal. Never really looked like getting a clean connection, though. A jittery moment from the keeper. He's got away with it. But for how long, you wonder. Here's Perez to try again. Sherwood got it away this time. Rebroff. Silvino too tight. Well, he made the decision to come out for this cross here, Sullivan. Always at full stretch. Arsenal have flung bodies in there. He's getting more involved now, Rebroff. And he's earned his team a free kick. Ledley King. He scored against Stockport. And also in a Premier League game after 10 seconds, a record. Clements over the ball, so is Sherwood. Might be a big moment this for Tottenham. Don't think they're going to get too many chances. Doherty is up there too, the goal scorer. Whipped it by Clements. Repelled by Arsenal. Free header then for Martin Keown. King and Parler in conflict. Arsenal and Spurs in conflict and nothing between them. Remember, there will not be a replay, extra time and a penalty shootout if necessary. And Arsenal wouldn't be looking forward to that. They uh, were beaten in three of those last season. Stephen Clements. Now Sherwood. Tottenham comprehensively outplayed a week ago in the league. Different story today, really, although Arsenal have been the dominant side. So much grit and determination about Spurs. They couldn't yet win this, but it's Arsenal coming forward again now with Vieira. Slipped onto Wiltor. The angle was a bit too tight, but oh, it wasn't for Pires. And it's 2-1 Arsenal. Wonderful service, and Pires just stroked it in. A goal they have been threatening to score. Brilliant play by Sylvain Wiltor. And his fellow Frenchman, Pires, was on the far post. It was all about the Frenchman indeed. Here's Vieira, here's Wiltor. Look at Pires now. Doherty hasn't seen him. He hadn't seen him. Wiltor with time to look up and pick out Pires. In truth, the defending was poor from Tottenham. But the finishing was lethal from Arsenal. 
Pires strikes, and Arsenal, from being a goal down, have turned it round, just as they did in midweek against Valencia. Now we'll see what Tottenham have left. They've lost Ferdinand. Luke Young, an instant response. Well, they've got to gamble now. They've got to take more risks. Keown in pursuit, and it was Everson deemed to be culpable there. Lauren. Now Freddie Youngberg. Henri. Oh, clashing then with Chris Perry, who did follow through, I would have to say there. Well, Henri uh, incurring the wrath of the referee, but so too surely is Perry. Well, Henri has been cautioned, not Perry. He did seem to take him out when the ball had got behind. Meantime, Doherty. Again, it all breaks down so disappointingly for Tottenham. Just haven't been able to find the right penetration. And no question, Arsenal have had far more chances. And they've taken two of them to Tottenham's one. And they are in the final. Pires with a winning goal. Arsenal go through for the 13th time. 14th now, I should say, of the FA Cup final. The 14th appearance there, this time in Cardiff rather than Webley. They won't mind at the moment where it is. A wonderful day then for Arsenal. They have won the North London derby, the FA Cup semi-final with Tottenham, by two goals to one.